Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And I want to share a dream I had. I think it was a last day's dream. Sometimes you have to hear a voice that hollers in your spirit. Don't open the door. Keep that door shut. Lock the door, but don't open it. And this is what happened in the dream. A man, a young man, came to the door, and there was a bunch of us inside together. We were all saved. And the man in the, at the door said he had a delivery. I hollered, don't open the door. Whatever you do, don't open the door. And the dingbat opened the door anyway. And I knew he was up to no good. I knew it. The person didn't listen. He let him in. And right at that point, you could tell the guy was getting ready to do harm. Now that's the only part I don't remember. I should have written it down when I woke up. But I do remember he was about to do harm. And there was a scuffle. Now, before he came to the door, this was the creepiest part. It was extremely dark outside. It was as if a storm was moving in. And the sky got darker and darker. I mean, it got so dark that it was almost like the perfect atmosphere for a demonic infiltration. It was crazy dark, like we were entering in that season of darkness, gross darkness that the Bible prophesies about in the last days. And that's what we were feeling that we were in the darkness of the last days. So what I want to say to you as a warning, when things start getting shaky, when things get darker and darker, and you feel the atmosphere becoming conducive for demonic movement, be careful who you open your door to. Talk through the door. You're not obligated to open a door to anybody, even if you know them. If you hear in your spirit a warning or an uneasy feeling, don't open your door. Because you have no idea what you're opening your door to. You don't know if you're opening the door to someone who is bent on harming you, just grabbing your house out from under you, killing you. You don't know what the purpose is. Robbing you, you don't know. So in these last days when things are getting darker and demons are taking over more and more people, don't be so trusting. Don't feel so obligated to open your door because someone took the time to knock or ring your doorbell. Just because they rang and didn't kick your door in doesn't mean they don't mean any less harm. Or it doesn't mean that, that they don't mean any harm. So be very careful about that. Don't be so quick to open your door. Don't be so polite. Sometimes in these last days, you got to think about you. And those people with you. Strangers are not to be so easily, you don't have to accommodate everybody just because you want to be Mr. or Mrs. Nice Guy. No. Sometimes the smartest thing you can say is no or nothing or don't respond at all and secure your doors and your windows. See, I remember a story a woman told me years ago of a relative of theirs who had Alzheimer's and they were living with some relatives. You know, relatives were taking care of this older woman. And they went downstairs and they said, what are you doing standing at the front door with it wide open? And she said, well, somebody asked me to let them in. So I came down and let them in. And nobody was standing at the door. And they asked, what did they say? And the woman said, 
let me in. I need to come in. Please let me in. It's cold out here. Now, they had to literally cleanse the house because the woman, by opening the door, had given demons permission to come into the house. And then she started acting bizarre. So they had to pray over her, take authority over those demons, cast them out of her, cast them out of the house, cast them off the property, never to return. She didn't know what she was doing, but they did, thank God. They had that spirit of discernment. You have to be careful not to be so quick to open your door in these last days. You don't even have to crack your door with the chain on it. No, keep the door shut. Once you crack your door, it, with that chain is not that strong. There are a lot of people strong enough to kick the door in. And when you crack the door, it's easy for a spirit to get in. Keep your door shut. Be very careful about that. Somebody knocks on your door, rings your doorbell, begs, cries, pleads, hollers. You keep everything locked because whatever danger is out there, you do not want it coming in your house, wreaking havoc on you and your loved ones. Don't put yourself in danger. Call 911. Hmm. Yeah, let the cops come and deal with what's going on out there. God has to speak to you specifically. You better ask God before you open the door. And I know there are times when, you know, you let somebody in because they're in danger or there's a, a real emergency. But you have to be very careful in these last days. Don't be so quick to be so trusting. Not everybody that says they're in crisis is in crisis. Not everyone that says they're in need is in need. And not everyone that says they're a delivery boy is delivering something good. So be careful. That dream was very eerie. It felt very dangerous. And it felt like it was a warning for the last days. As soon as I woke up, I knew it. There was no guessing. I knew it. It was a warning. Somebody could be going door to door telling you that the government is, has told them to come and get information from you. Don't give it. Don't answer. You don't know the people. Don't answer the door. Sometimes the best defense is an offense. And the best offense sometimes is silence. Total silence. Sometimes when they know you're there, they know that they have some victims they can pick on. If they know you're not there, you can help secure your door more. They don't have to know you put little pieces of wood and stuff at your door. But whatever you do, just be careful. Don't be so quick to, even if it's a child, a child can be used by a lot of criminals to knock on the door crying. Call 911 to come help that child. Don't be quick to open it because somebody can be standing to the right of your door, to the left of your door while the child is standing in front. And as soon as you crack the door to see what the child needs, bam, they come and bust your door open. That's what the adults will do. So you be very, very careful. I just feel like that's a serious warning. Keep your doors locked, closed, and secured. Keep your windows secure. I'm actually thinking myself of buying wrought iron, secure things to put on the inside of my window, not on the outside. Because if there's a fire, I want to be able to get out. And I want to know how to loosen those things to get out quickly. But I'm seriously thinking of putting something in my ground floor windows so that nobody can get in my house. Nobody can break in my house. And when the Lord blesses me with the finances that I need, I will also buy myself a security door 
for the front and the back, a security screen door. So you guys have to do what you have to do during these last days. Secure everything, protect everything, and like I said, be weary. Don't be gullible. Don't be foolish. Be weary. Be prayerful. Because God will put a warning in your spirit. You won't feel right. It, it just won't feel right in you. Don't believe what they say above what you're feeling. God bless you in these last days.